okay in this class we are going to discuss in detail on the p q and r branches r branches of the rotational fine structure in the electronic spectra the rotational fine structure of the electronic spectra in the last class we discussed in detail how the rotational transitions are happening along with the along with the electronic transition okay there we constructed an expression for the spectroscopic wave number that is nu bar spectroscopic is equal to nu bar v prime v double prime plus b prime j double prime sorry b prime b prime j prime into j prime plus 1 minus b double prime j double prime into j double prime plus 1 centimeter inverse so this will give the wave number of a line in the spectrum the rotational spine fine spectrum of the uh, fine structure of the electronic spectrum and here nu bar v prime v double prime is uh, the wave number of a particular line in the v dash progression or the vibrational coil structure okay and in the last class we discussed in details on the selection rules governing the rotational transition okay i will summarize it here depending upon the electronic transition there are different selection rules if the electronic transition is type uh, is of the type sigma 1 to sigma 1 transition okay then the selection rule is delta j is equal to plus or minus 1 for all other transitions for all other transitions okay then the selection rule is delta j is equal to 0 or plus or minus 1 and in this case of delta j is equal to 0 j j double prime is equal to 0 to j prime is equal to 0 transition is not allowed this is excluded from this selection rule okay this is what we discussed in the previous class and uh, here we are going to discuss in detail of the p q and r branches when i was winding up the previous class i said already that delta j delta j is equal to minus 1 leads to the p branch and delta j is equal to 0 leads to the q branch and delta j is equal to plus 1 leads to the r branch okay here we are going to consider all these branches p q and r branches so first of all let us consider the p branch of the spectrum p branch of the rotational fine structure of the electronic spectrum p branch of the spectrum so p branch p branch of the spectrum in the case of the p branch of the spectrum delta j is equal to minus 1 delta j is equal to minus 1 means the rotational quantum number of the upper level minus the rotational quantum number of the lower level is equal to minus 1 means j prime minus j double prime is equal to minus 1 or we can write j double prime is equal to j prime plus 1 j prime plus 1 and we can also write j prime is equal to j double prime minus 1 so we already have an expression for the uh, the the spectroscopic wave number in the previous slide we already uh, discussed this means nu bar spectroscopic is equal to nu bar v prime v double prime plus b prime j prime j prime plus 1 minus b double prime j double prime j double prime plus 1 okay so we are going to use this equation further for getting uh, details about the p branch of this uh, spectrum we will we will rearrange this equation in several ways uh, given the condition for the p branch okay so let me write this equation further again and uh, we can write like nu bar spectroscopic in the case of uh, the p branch let me write nu bar p because we are considering the p branch of the spectrum so that is why it is written nu bar p nu bar p is equal to nu bar v prime v double prime okay 
plus plus our equation is b prime j prime j prime plus 1 minus b double prime j double prime j double prime plus 1 okay centimeter inverse this is our original equation and now this equation is constituting for the p branch of the spectrum and uh, here we are going to impose the conditions for the p branch of the spectrum what are the conditions we have already written here these are the conditions j prime minus j double prime is equal to minus 1 okay that is a prime condition we are going to impose these conditions here in this equation and therefore we can write, write this equation like a new bar v prime v double prime plus b prime instead of j prime i am going to write the expression for j prime here j prime the, ex the expression for j prime is j double prime minus 1 so let me write it here like j double prime minus 1 into okay that is expression for j prime into um, uh, that is j prime into j double prime because j prime plus 1 see j prime plus 1 is equal to j double prime i am going to write it like j double prime minus b double prime j double prime into j double prime plus 1 centimeter inverse what we have done here is we have uh, converted all the j terms to j double prime terms okay j prime is converted to j double prime that's all so that is equal to new bar v prime v double prime i am going to expand this okay b prime j double prime j double prime that is equal to b prime j double prime square minus b prime j b prime j double prime b prime j double prime then minus b double prime j double prime j double prime that is equal to b double prime j double prime square minus b double prime j double prime minus b double prime j double prime okay and uh, I can rearrange this equation further that is equal to new bar v prime v double prime plus um, this j double prime terms are going to be written together see this is a j double prime term this is also j double prime term these are going to be written together these both of these are minus terms right so let me put this minus together here so minus of b prime b prime plus b double prime minus of b prime plus b double prime into j double prime okay now these two terms square terms plus b prime j double prime square minus b double prime j double prime square so we can write plus b prime b prime minus b double prime into j double prime square okay that many centimeter inverse so that is the wave number of a line in the p branch okay and uh, here we have j double prime j double prime square i am going to convert back this j double prime to j prime okay so i can write it like new bar p is equal to new bar new bar v prime v double prime minus b prime plus b double prime b prime plus b double prime into j double prime j double prime is equal to j prime plus one so that is j prime plus one okay plus b prime minus b double prime into j double prime square so it is j prime plus one square j prime plus one square okay centimeter inverse and here j prime j prime what are the possible values of j prime here see here this is a delta j is equal to minus one transition delta j is equal to minus one transition what is j prime j prime is the rotational quantum number is in the upper level okay and you are considering delta j is equal to minus one transition 
അപ്പൊ നമ്മൾക്ക് ഏതൊക്കെ ട്രാൻസിഷൻസ് പരിഗണിക്കാൻ നോക്കുന്നത് ട്രാൻസിഷൻസ് ദാറ്റ് വി ക്യാൻ കൺസിഡർ ഹിയർ ആർ ജെ ഡബിൾ പ്രൈം ടു ജെ പ്രൈം ട്രാൻസിഷൻസ് നമ്മൾ ഏതൊക്കെയാണ് കൺസിഡർ ചെയ്യുന്നത് ദ ട്രാൻസിഷൻ ദ കൺസിഡറബിൾ ട്രാൻസിഷൻസ് ഹിയർ ആർ സിൻസ് ഇറ്റ് ഈസ് മൈനസ് വൺ ട്രാൻസിഷൻ ഇറ്റ് ഷുഡ് ബി ദ ഫസ്റ്റ് ട്രാൻസിഷൻ ഷുഡ് ബി വൺ ടു സീറോ ഓക്കെ നെക്സ്റ്റ് വൺ ഷുഡ് ബി ടു ടു വൺ നെക്സ്റ്റ് വൺ ഷുഡ് ബി ത്രീ ടു ടു എക്സെട്ര അല്ലെ സോ ദ സെക്കൻഡ് വാല്യൂസ് ആർ ദ ജെ പ്രൈം വാല്യൂസ് ഓക്കെ ജെ ഡബിൾ പ്രൈം ടു ജെ പ്രൈം ട്രാൻസിഷൻസ് സോ ദ സെക്കൻഡ് വാല്യൂസ് ആർ ജെ പ്രൈം വാല്യൂസ് സീറോ വൺ ടു ദീസ് ആർ ദ ജെ പ്രൈം വാല്യൂസ് So, what are the possible values of J prime in this equation when delta J is equal to minus 1? The possible values of J prime are J prime is equal to J prime is equal to uh, 0, 1, 2, 3, etc. 1, 2, 3, etc. But you know, if you have J prime, you can see that this value is equal to J prime. But if you have J double prime, you can see that this value is equal to J prime. Okay, you can see that this value is equal to J prime. ഇവിടെ ജെ ഡബിൾ പ്രൈമിന്റെ മിനിമം വാല്യൂ വൺ ആയിരുന്നു അപ്പൊ നമ്മൾ ഒരു ട്രാൻസിഷൻ മിസ്സായി പോകും നമ്മളുടെ പരിഗണനയിൽ അതുകൊണ്ടാണ് നമ്മൾ ജെ പ്രൈമിലേക്ക് തിരിച്ചു കൊണ്ടുവരുന്നത് കാരണം നമ്മൾ എല്ലാ ട്രാൻസിഷൻസിനും പരിഗണിക്കാൻ വേണ്ടിയാണ് ഈ ഇക്വേഷനാണ് നമുക്ക് കൂടുതൽ യൂസ്ഫുൾ ആയിട്ടുള്ള ഒരു ഇക്വേഷൻ ബിക്കോസ് ജെ പ്രൈം ഇസ് ഇക്കല് സീറോ വൺ ടു ത്രീ എക്സെട്ര ഓക്കെ സോ നോ വി ഹാവ് എൻ എക്സ്പ്രഷൻ ഫോർ ദിസ് ദ പി ദ സ്പെക്ട്രോസ്കോപ്പിക് ലൈൻസ് വിച്ച് ആർ അപ്പിയറിംഗ് ഇൻ ദ പി ബ്രാഞ്ച് ഓഫ് ദ സ്പെക്ട്രം വി ക്യാൻ give different j prime values in this expression and these different j prime values will give the nu bar p okay and these different nu bar p will constitute a series of lines and this series of lines is called the p branch of the spectrum so now i am going for the r branch of the spectrum r branch of the spectrum r branch so r branch of the spectrum how it is originating r branch of the spectrum r branch of the spectrum is originating because of the transition of the type delta j is equal to plus 1 delta j is equal to plus 1 means j prime minus j double prime is equal to plus 1 right or we can write j prime is equal to j double prime plus 1 and we can write an expression for j double prime also j double prime is equal to okay j prime minus 1 j prime minus 1 okay so now we are going to impose these conditions in our expression for the nu bar spectroscopic so what is the result we will check so nu bar spectroscopic here we are considering the r branch so let me write nu bar r is equal to nu bar v prime v double prime okay plus v j prime in the j prime plus 1 minus here we have v prime minus v double prime j double prime j double prime plus 1 centimeter inverse okay and that is equal to nu bar v prime v double prime plus b prime j prime j prime plus 1 minus b double prime now i am going to substitute for j double prime what is j double prime j double prime is equal to j prime minus 1 so instead of j prime double prime i am going to write j prime minus 1 into uh, j double prime plus 1 what is j double prime plus 1 it is here j double prime plus 1 is equal to j prime j prime okay centimeter inverse so let me expand this that is nu bar uh, v prime v v double prime plus b prime j prime j prime that is equal to b prime j prime square okay plus b prime j prime minus b double prime j double j prime j prime that is b double prime j prime square then minus minus so it will be plus b prime b double prime j prime okay centimeter inverse 
so that is equal to new bar v prime v double prime plus now i am going to put these two terms together b prime j prime this one b prime j prime term and v double prime j prime term okay these two terms together then i can write like b prime j prime plus b double prime j prime okay that is equal to b prime plus b prime plus b double prime into j prime okay then these two terms together b prime minus b double prime so we can write b prime minus b double prime into j prime j prime square centimeter inverse okay so here we have an expression for new bar r okay and earlier we had an expression for new bar p you may be remembering in the previous slide we wrote an expression here for the new bar p that is new bar v prime v double prime this is same in both cases here it is b prime plus b double prime into j prime plus 1 okay in our case now in our case b prime plus b double prime into j prime okay into j prime plus b prime minus j double prime into j prime square here i am what i am going to do i am going to convert this to j double prime okay just like what we did in the previous case so that is equal to new bar v prime v double prime plus b prime plus uh, b double prime into j prime what is j prime j prime is equal to j double prime plus 1 so let me substitute j j double prime plus 1 plus b prime minus b double prime into j prime square that is equal to j double prime plus 1 the whole square centimeter inverse here the expression is in terms of j double prime so what are the possible values of j double prime in this expression here we have to consider this is the, consider that this is the delta j is equal to plus 1 transition delta j is equal to plus 1 transition means delta j is equal to plus 1 transition means j double prime to j prime transitions are okay uh, 0 to 1 1 to 2 2 to 3 etc all these are j delta j is equal to plus 1 transition so what are the values of j double prime here see these are the values of j double prime 0 1 2 etc so in this expression j double prime values are 0 1 2 etc because this is a delta j is equal to plus 1 transition so let me write it here here j double prime values are 0 1 2 3 etc okay so now you compare these two equation let me write these two equations once again in the next slide i i will write the expression oh, sorry i will write the expression for the uh p branch that is new bar p new bar p is equal to new bar v prime v double prime plus uh, minus minus b prime plus b double prime b double prime into j prime plus 1 j prime plus 1 plus b prime minus b double prime minus b double prime into j prime plus 1 the whole square this was the expression we had we already we already got for this one okay new bar p new bar p is expression this is what i have written there here j prime is equal to 0 1 2 3 etc so this is 0 j prime is in this expression j prime is equal to 0 1 2 3 etc so let me write the expression for new bar r so new bar r is equal to new bar r is equal to new bar v prime v double prime okay uh, plus plus b prime plus b, b double prime b prime plus b double prime 
into j double prime plus 1 j double prime plus 1 plus b prime minus b double prime b prime minus b double prime into j double prime plus 1 the whole square j double prime plus 1 the whole square where j double prime is equal to 0 1 2 3 etc okay so these are the two expressions we already got now you can look at this expression in the first expression okay this one in the first expression i am going to put minus of j prime plus 1 this minus with this j prime plus 1 minus of j prime plus 1 as m okay i am going to take this expression and in this expression i am going to put minus of j prime plus 1 is equal to m okay if minus of j prime is equal to 1 what will be the the how the equation will become here the equation will be like nu bar p is equal to the equation will become nu bar p is equal to nu bar nu bar v prime v double prime minus of minus of j prime plus 1 is equal to m so i can write like b plus b prime plus b double prime into m right plus b prime plus b double prime b prime plus b double prime into m because m is equal to this minus and this together is is m okay into m plus i can write b prime minus b double prime b prime minus b double prime into j prime plus 1 the whole square what is j prime plus 1 the whole square j prime plus 1 the whole square is minus of j prime plus 1 the whole square because minus square is equal to plus 1 so i can write it like m square so let me write m square here okay so i have a new equation in terms of m here m in this equation is minus of j prime plus 1 okay and i am going to take the next expression that is for the r branch in this expression in this expression i am going to take j double prime plus 1 is equal to m okay j double prime j double prime plus 1 is equal to m okay and what will be the expression then the expression is equal to a new bar r is equal to new bar r is equal to new bar v prime v double prime plus b prime plus b double prime into m right b prime plus b double prime into m okay plus b prime minus b double prime into m square b prime minus b double prime into m square okay we are m square is equal to j double prime plus 1 the whole square so in these two expression these two expressions looks together looks like looks same right b bar p and v new bar p and new bar r look same both of them are looking same but the m values are different in these two expressions okay here in this m value m, m expression m value is equal to minus of j prime plus 1 but we already know what are the j prime plus 1 j prime values 0 1 2 3 etc so j prime plus 1 values are 1 2 3 4 etc minus of j prime plus 1 is equal to that is m okay therefore m is equal to m in this case is equal to where m is equal to in this case m is equal to uh, minus of j prime plus 1 that is minus of 1 2 3 4 etc okay so let me write m is equal to minus 1 minus 2 minus 1 Minus two, minus two, minus three, etc. These are the m values. What about the m values here? Here, 
here m is equal to j double prime plus 1 what is j double prime 0 1 2 3 etc so m values are 0 plus 1 1 plus 1 2 plus 1 3 plus 1 etc that is 1 2 3 4 etc so m value in this case is 1 2 3 etc here m values are minus 1 minus 2 minus 3 etc here m values are 1 2 3 etc so these equations are looking similar but we have to remember that in both equations the m values are different here m values are adopting the minus values minus 1 minus 2 minus 3 here m values are adopting the plus values so in the p branch p branch is obtained by putting the values minus 1 minus 2 minus 3 for m in this expression okay and p the r branch will be obtained by putting the values 1 2 3 etc for m in this expression okay so we can write these two equations together that is nu bar p r i will write it in the next page that is nu bar p r this is uh, this is applicable for both series of lines the p, C, p series and r p branch and r branch nu bar p r is equal to nu bar v prime v double prime okay this is same in both cases plus our expression okay that is b prime plus b double prime into m okay b prime plus b double prime into m okay plus b prime minus b double prime into m square b prime minus b double prime into m square where 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 m is equal to plus or minus 1 plus or minus 2 plus or minus 3 etc if we are putting the plus values then you will get the r branch and if you are putting the minus value then you will get the p branch just like we so here okay if you are putting the minus values you will get the p branch if you are putting the plus values you will get the r branch okay so now we have an expression for the p branch and r branch of the spectrum okay and uh, something we have to consider now and we are going to construct the p branch and r branch we are going to assign the series of lines now but something we have to consider at this moment and we we in, in our expression we have b prime and b double prime right b prime and b double prime so whether what is what are these b prime and b double prime b prime and b double prime are the rotational constants in the ground electronic state and excited electronic state ground electronic state rotational constant is b double prime excited electronic state rotational constant is b prime are they same you cannot say that they are same because there are some reasons for that when an electron is making an excitation okay when an electron is making an excitation means the the the, the molecule was initially in the ground stage and in the ground state the electrons are there suppose you are you you suppose that the electrons are in the bonding molecular orbital okay in the ground stage and one of these electrons are making a jump to a higher orbital okay it is jumping to a higher orbital so that now the molecule becomes excited it is in the excited stage it's a higher electronic stage so during this electronic transition an electron from the bonding molecular orbital is getting excited that will lead to the d stability of the bond right? bonding molecular orbital in the electron excite if dream that bond in the stability about it so the bond will be weakened so normally during this electronic excitation the bond will become weakened bond bond become weakened bond become weakened if the bond is getting weakened what is the consequence the bond length bond length will 
increase bond length will increase if the bond length is increasing then what is the consequence the moment of inertia i will increase right the moment of inertia i will increase if the moment of inertia i is increasing then what is the consequence the b rotational constant b will decrease decrease because you know that the expression for b is h divided by 8 pi square ic b and i are inversely proportional if i is increasing b will decrease so normally during an electronic excitation most of the cases during the electronic excitation the b will decrease or in other words the rotational constant in the upper electronic state that is represented as b prime it will be less than the rotational constant in the ground electronic state which is represented by b double prime that is the usual case okay the rotational constant in the upper electronic state will be less than the rotational constant in the ground electronic state so b prime minus b double prime b b prime will be less than b double prime what is the consequence of that in our equation b prime minus b double prime b prime minus b double prime that is there in our equation right this term b prime minus b double prime will be a negative quantity okay b prime minus b double prime will be a negative quantity so we are going to check this possibility so we are going to analyze this equation giving the condition that b prime is less than b double prime or b prime minus b double prime is negative with that condition we are going to analyze this equation okay so let me take the p branch and for p branch we know that m is equal to negative so let me take a p branch p branch p branch and for p branch m is equal to negative negative means n can m can have the values minus 1 minus 2 minus 3 etc these are the possible values of m okay and uh, our expression you already know the expression the expression for uh, the spectroscopic line is nu bar, nu bar p r nu bar p r is equal to nu bar v prime v double prime plus b prime plus b double prime into m plus b prime minus b double prime into m square this is our expression for the spectroscopic wave number and in this case m is negative m is negative See, if m is negative then this term b prime plus b double prime is a positive quantity b prime plus b double prime is a positive quantity and m is a negative quantity so this quantity will be a negative quantity right and here b prime minus b double prime is itself a negative quantity because we are considering that b prime is less than b double prime so this is a negative quantity and that negative quantity is multiplied by a positive quantity because m square will always be positive square square of minus 1 minus 2 minus 3 all these are positive quantities so a negative quantity into a positive quantity this is also a negative quantity so in the expression for the spectroscopic lines wave number these two quantities these two terms containing b prime and b double prime or these two containing these two terms containing m they are negative terms so what will be the result so if you are checking if you are giving its different m values here okay if you are giving different m values here all all these terms are becoming bigger and bigger right by m in number one in the value would have no by you have one number you have one number m in two would have come out of one number you would have four m in three would have come out of three m Ibu deh, nine macam itu. Ada itu, ini quantity se, ini adalah ini dua amat, ini dua amat quantity, tiga amat quantity. First quantity ni mana subtract itu boleh yang ni jeep pernah, kan? New bar minus new new bar b prime b double prime ini barangnya quantity ni, ini dua quantity ni subtract itu pernah, ada negative quantity mana? 
ഈ സബ്സ്ട്രാക്ട് ചെയ്യപ്പെടുന്ന ക്വാണ്ടിറ്റീസിൻ്റെ ക്വാണ്ടിറ്റീസ് ബിഗർ അത് പിന്നെയും പിന്നെയും ബിഗർ ആയിക്കൊണ്ടിരിക്കുക എങ്ങനെയാണ് എം വാല്യൂസ് എം വാല്യൂസ് നമ്മൾ ഹയർ ആൻഡ് ഹയർ എം വാല്യൂസ് കൊടുക്കും തോറും അല്ലെങ്കിൽ മൈനസ് വൺ മൈനസ് ടു മൈനസ് ത്രീ ഇങ്ങനെ കൊടുത്തു പോകും തോറും അത് പിന്നെയും പിന്നെയും ബിഗർ ആയിക്കൊണ്ടിരിക്കുക എസ് സബ്സ്ട്രാക്ട് ചെയ്യുന്ന ക്വാണ്ടിറ്റീസ് ബിഗർ ആയിക്കൊണ്ടിരിക്കുക അല്ലേ അപ്പോൾ നമുക്ക് എവിടെയായിരിക്കും ഈ സ്പെക്ട് ഈ സ്പെക്ട്രോസ്കോപ്പി ഈ സീരീസിലെ ലൈൻസ് കിട്ടുന്ന എവിടെയായിരിക്കും അതിൻ്റെ വേവ് നമ്പറിൻ്റെ പ്രത്യേകത എന്തായിരിക്കും ദ വേവ് നമ്പർ ഓഫ് ദ സ്പെക്ട്രോസ്കോപ്പിക് സീരീസ് ഓഫ് ലൈൻസ് ഇൻ ദ പി ബ്രാഞ്ച് വിൽ ഹാവ് ദ വേ വിൽ ബി ലെസ് ദാൻ ദിസ് വേവ് നമ്പർ അല്ലേ അതിൻ്റെ പ്രോഗ്രഷനിലെ വേവ് നമ്പറാണിത് വൈബ്രേഷണൽ പ്രോഗ്രഷനിലെ വേവ് നമ്പറാണിത് അപ്പോൾ നമ്മളൊരു പർട്ടിക്കുലർ പ്രോഗ്രഷനാണ് പരിഗണിക്കുന്നത് ഓക്കെ അല്ലെ പർട്ടിക്കുലർ ലൈനിൻ്റെ പ്രോഗ്രഷനാണ് പരിഗണിക്കുന്നത് ആ ലൈനിൻ്റെ ലൈനിന് കറസ്പോണ്ടിങ് ആയിട്ടുള്ള വേവ് നമ്പർ എത്രയാണോ അതിനേക്കാൾ കുറവായിരിക്കും നമ്മൾക്ക് കിട്ടുന്ന ഓരോ ലൈനിൻ്റെയും വേവ് നമ്പർ അല്ലേ അല്ലേ അതാണ് ഇത് സൂചിപ്പിക്കുന്നത് ബിക്കോസ് ദീസ് ടു ആർ നെഗറ്റീവ് ക്വാണ്ടിറ്റീസ് സോ ദ ന്യൂ ബാർ പി വിൽ ബി ലെസ് ദാൻ ന്യൂ ബാർ വി പ്രൈം വി ഡബിൾ പ്രൈം ഓർ ദ frequencies in the p series of the rotational fine structure will be less than the frequency that you would expect in the case of only a vibrational transition vibrational transition mathram ayirunu sambhavikkunu ennundengil ningalku kittuna wave number idayirunu adinekkal kurava irikkum namakku kittuna ore wave number um alle adanu namakku manasilakkunnathu so wave number is decreasing അത് ഡിക്രീസ് ചെയ്യുന്നു എന്ന് മാത്രമല്ല എമ്മിൻ്റെ വാല്യൂ മൈനസ് വൺ മൈനസ് ടു മൈനസ് ത്രീ ഇങ്ങനെ കിട്ടിപ്പോകുന്നതിനനുസരിച്ച് ഡിക്രീസ് ചെയ്യപ്പെടുന്ന എമൗണ്ട് കൂടിക്കൊണ്ടിരിക്കുകയാണ് അതായത് ലൈൻസ് ദ ആർ ഗോയിങ് ഫാർദർ ആൻഡ് ഫാർദർ എ പാർട്ട് സോ വി വിൽ ഗെറ്റ് എ സീരീസ് ഓഫ് ലൈൻസ് ഇൻ ദിസ് വേ ലെറ്റ് മീ ഡ്രൈറ്റ് ഇറ്റ് ഹിയർ വി വിൽ ഗെറ്റ് എ സീരീസ് ഓഫ് ലൈൻസ് ഇൻ ദിസ് വേ സി യു സപ്പോസ് ദാറ്റ് ദിസ് ഇസ് അസ്പെക്ട്രൽ സീരീസ് ഏ ഇതാണ് സ്പെക്ട്രൽ സീരീസ് ഇപ്പം നമുക്ക് ഇവിടെയാണ് നമ്മൾ എന്ത് ചെയ്യുന്നത് ന്യൂ ബാർ ന്യൂ ബാർ വി പ്രൈം വി ഡബിൾ പ്രൈം ഇവിടെയാണ് നമ്മൾ പരിഗണിക്കുന്നത് ഇതാണ് ന്യൂ ബാർ വി പ്രൈം വി ഡബിൾ പ്രൈം നമുക്ക് ഇവിടെ ഒരു ലൈൻ കിട്ടുമോ ഇല്ല ഇവിടെ ഒരു ലൈൻ കിട്ടണമെന്നുണ്ടെങ്കിൽ എമ്മിൻ്റെ വാല്യൂ സീറോ ആകണമായിരുന്നു സിൻസ് ദ എം വാല്യൂ ഇസ് നോട്ട് ഈക്വൽ ടു സീറോ നെവർ യു വിൽ ഗെറ്റ് എ ലൈൻ ഹിയർ അല്ലേ യു വിൽ നോട്ട് എ ലൈൻ കറസ്പോണ്ടിങ് ടു യു വിൽ നോട്ട് ഗെറ്റ് എ ലൈൻ കറസ്പോണ്ടിങ് ടു ന്യൂ ബാർ വി പ്രൈം വി ഡബിൾ പ്രൈം ഈ പ്രോഗ്രഷനിലെ ലൈന് കറസ്പോണ്ടിങ് ആയിട്ടുള്ള ഒരു സിംഗിൾ ലൈൻ നിങ്ങൾക്ക് ഇവിടെ കിട്ടത്തില്ല മറിച്ച് നിങ്ങൾക്ക് എന്തായിരിക്കും കിട്ടുന്നത് ആ ലൈനിന് താഴേക്ക് അല്ലെങ്കിൽ ആ ലൈനിൻ്റെ ഫ്രീക്വൻസി ഹൈപ്പോത്തറ്റിക്കൽ ഫ്രീക്വൻസി എത്രയാണോ അതിനേക്കാൾ ചെറിയ ഫ്രീക്വൻസി ഉള്ള ഓരോ സീരീസ് ഓഫ് ലൈൻസ് ആയിരിക്കും നിങ്ങൾക്ക് കിട്ടുന്നത് ഓക്കെ സോ യു വിൽ ഗെറ്റ് എ ലൈൻ ഹിയർ ഓക്കെ ആൻഡ് ദിസ് ലൈൻ കറസ്പോണ്ട്സ് ടു എം ഇസിക്കൽ ടു മൈനസ് വൺ ദെൻ യു വിൽ ഗെറ്റ് എ ലൈൻ ഹിയർ ദാറ്റ് കറസ്പോണ്ട്സ് ടു എം ഇസിക്കൽ ടു മൈനസ് ടു and then you will get a line here that corresponds to m is equal to minus 3 then you will get a line here that corresponds to m is equal to minus 4 etc appo ee lines ammulla separation koodi koodi verigiyana karanam endana ivide ulla ore m value ingane povunna nanusichu m square inde value valudayittu koodi kondirikkum alle adhai subtract cheyappedunna povunna amount valare koodi 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 pogiyana subtract cheyappedunna povunna quantity valare koodi koodi pogiyana adu kondana adu pinneyum pinne agand agand povunnathu so this one corresponds to m is equal to m is equal to minus 1 minus 1 m is equal to this corresponds to m is equal to okay m is equal to minus 1 this corresponds to m is equal to minus 2 this corresponds to m is equal to minus 3 and this one corresponds to m is equal to minus 4 and these series of lines is called the p branch of the spectrum p branch p branch of the spectrum so this is called the band origin ee hypothetical line yana band origin ennu vilikkunathu band origin il namukku line onnum kittunnilla no line will be appearing in the band origin because m is never equal to zero m zero aayirunnundengil ee rendu terms um zero aayi poyirumayirunnu namukku band origin oru line kittumayirunnu but we don't get a line in the band origin instead we are getting a series of line left to the band origin or in the lower frequency range of the band origin okay adana p branch endu parayunnathu okay so all lines appear in a lower wave number and the line spacing increases that is what you have to understand about the p branch next i am going to talk about the uh, 
R branch, okay, R branch, R branch of the spectrum, R branch, R branch, and you know that for the R branch, and M is equal to M is positive. It means that M can have the values like plus one, plus two, plus three, etc. These are the possible values of M. Okay. And again, you have to remember our equation for the new bar spectroscopic. New bar spectroscopic is equal to new bar V prime V double prime plus, and what is the expression? Uh, plus B prime B prime plus B double prime into M plus B prime minus B double prime into M square. Okay, centimeter boss. So this is our expression for the spectroscopy series of line. And here we are considering the R branch. In the case of R branch, M is positive. And again we know that B prime is less than B double prime. B prime is less than B double prime. Therefore, this term will be a negative quantity. So B prime minus B double prime is negative. Okay. And B prime plus B double prime is a positive quantity we already know this b prime plus b double prime is a positive quantity and now let us consider some values for this okay we will consider some values for uh, b prime and a b double prime okay so let us suppose that b prime b prime is equal to 1.05 i am taking an example okay b prime is equal 1.05 centimeter inverse and b double prime uh, so, sorry this is b double prime b double prime that is the uh, rotational constant in the ground state that is equal to 1.05 centimeter inverse and the rotational constant in the uh, excited state that is equal to uh, 0 0.95 centimeter inverse Okay, so that B prime is less than B double prime. And in this case, B prime minus B double prime. B prime minus B double prime is equal to, what is B prime minus B double prime in this case? Uh, 0 0.95 minus 1.05. That is equal to, that is equal to minus of 0 0.1, right? Minus 0 0.1. Okay. And uh, B prime uh, B prime is equal to minus 0 0.1. It means uh, it is um, B uh, that, that, that is almost 10 percentage. The difference is almost 10 percentage of the B prime value or B double prime value. The 1.051 in the aggregation or path to the man of the difference in the body. Okay. And uh, here I am going to calculate B prime plus B double prime, which is in our expression. B prime plus B double prime is equal to 1.05 plus 0.95. That is equal to 2 centimeter inverse. Okay. The typical values are now. E B prime minus B double prime is equal to minus 0 0.1. And B prime plus B double prime is equal to 2 centimeter inverse. In these values are substituted. This is just an example. Okay? Just an example. This is the same. This is the constant or fixed data values. There are molecules in the gaze. There are rotational constants. There are ground state. There are excited state. This is the same. Typically, this is the same. This is the same. This is the same. This is the same. So, we will, we will find out the new bar spectroscopic. Uh, for these uh, different values of m get giving these values for b prime minus b double prime and b prime plus b double prime okay so let me construct a table and then i will put those uh, values there and in this table i am going to take uh, m values in this column okay and then i am going to take uh, b prime plus uh, b double prime into m B prime plus B double prime into N. Why I am going to calculate this? This is this term in our expression. B prime plus B double prime into M. 
and in the other column i am going to calculate b prime minus b double prime into m square okay why it is like that because this is our expression b prime minus b double prime into m square this is a term in our equation okay e term gal ella njan calculate cheyan poyan so let me calculate these terms appo you know oru thinu oru column kudukka okay let me put m values in this sorry let me put m values in this uh, column m values in this column and uh, these values in this columns and these values in this column okay finally i will add these two together nisheshan yan idu rendum kuda add cheyyu eda b prime plus b double prime into m plus b prime minus b double prime uh, into m square idu yan add cheyyu okay so let me uh, write that also here b prime plus b double prime into m plus b prime minus b double prime into m square okay why it is like that we can see that in our equation we have these two are added okay so i will find out these two also okay so let me put different values of m what are the values of m positive values only 1 when m is equal to 1 b prime plus b double prime b prime plus b double prime endano 2 aan in our nammude example eh hey, it is equal to 2 and b prime minus b double prime is equal to 0.1 minus 0.1 okay so 2 into 1 that is equal to 2 and uh, 2 1 square m square is 1 square that is 1 1 1 into minus 0.1 that is equal to minus 0.1 okay and when m is equal to 2 this is uh 2 into 2 that is equal to 4 and this one is uh 4 m square is 4 4 into minus 0.1 that is equal to minus 0.4 minus 0.4 when m is equal to 3 this is a 6 and this is a minus 0.9 when m is equal to 4 this is 8 and this is minus 1.6 okay and when m is equal to 5 this is 10 and then this becomes minus 2.5 and when m is equal to 6 this becomes uh, 12 and uh, this one becomes uh, minus 3.6 minus 3.6 and this becomes 7 then it is 14 and this becomes minus 4.9 4.9 and when this is uh, 8 this becomes uh, uh, 16 and uh, this becomes minus 6.4 okay minus 6.4 and this is 9 then this becomes uh, 18 and this becomes minus 8.1 minus 8.1 and uh, this becomes 10 then this becomes 20 and this becomes uh minus 10 right minus 10 okay and when this is 11 this becomes 22 and this becomes 12.1 12.1 when this becomes 12 sorry when this becomes 12 this becomes 24 and this one becomes 14.4 okay there is a minus here Minus 14.4, and I am I'm going to end this with the 13, and then this becomes 26, and this one becomes uh, minus uh, 16.9, right? 16.9. Okay, 16.9. Okay, now I am going to calculate this uh, this term here. Two minus zero point one. That is equal to one point nine. One point nine corresponding to this one point nine. Corresponding to this one four minus zero point four. That is three point six. Three point six. 
this one is 6 minus 0 0.9 that is equal to 5.1 5.1 this one is uh, uh, 6.4 okay and this one is uh, 7.5 and uh, this one is 12 minus 3.6 that is equal to 8.4 8.4 and 14 minus 4 4.9 that is equal to 9.1 and 6 minus 6.4 that is equal to 16 minus 6.4 that is equal to 9.6 9.6 and what about this one that is uh, 9.9 9.9 and what about this that is equal to 10 okay what about this that is 22 minus 12.1 that is equal to 9 9.9 .9, right yeah 9.9 .9. and this one is 24 minus minus 14.4 that is equal to 9.6 and this one is 26 minus 16.9 that is equal to 9.9.1 .9 see you look at these values okay this is the value this is the value which is added up which is added up with the new bar spectroscopic new bar b prime b double prime in our expression you look at the previous expression okay v prime no, no, new bar v prime v double prime plus this quantity plus this quantity E quantity and the last two quality calculate is which are in the lay. E quantity would new bar V prime V double prime in the brain quantity order. E quantity add the region. For I'm going to add the region the quantity is the This is corresponding to the band origin. Band origin band origin corresponding to line the Mukitomo illa because M is equal to zero and angle band origin corresponding to line. But E terminal of zero ipogum, pin a band origin corresponding to line. Other Mukitula. Because there is no m is equal to 0, uh, since m is equal to 0 is not possible, we will not get a line in the band origin. Instead, we will get some lines whose wave numbers are given by band origin wave number plus some quantity. This plus some quantity is what we calculate. That is 1.9, 3.6, 5.1, 6.5, 7.5, 8.4, 9.9, 9.9, 9.9, 9.9, 9.9, 9.9, 9.9, 9.9, 9.9, 9.9, 9.9, 9.9, 9.9, 9.
ആ വൺ പോയിന്റ് സെവൻ ആണല്ലേ വൺ പോയിന്റ് സെവൻ എന്നാലും ഇത് തമ്മിലോ വൺ പോയിന്റ് ഫൈവേ ഉള്ളു വൺ പോയിന്റ് ഫൈവ് ഇത് തമ്മിലാണെന്നുണ്ടെങ്കിൽ വൺ പോയിന്റ് ത്രീ അല്ലേ ഇനി ഇത് തമ്മിലാണെന്നുണ്ടെങ്കിൽ വൺ പോയിന്റ് വൺ അതായത് അങ്ങോട്ട് അങ്ങോട്ട് പോകും തോറും ഈ ലൈൻസ് തമ്മിലുള്ള അകലം എന്ത് ചെയ്യാണ് കുറഞ്ഞു 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 വരികയാണ് നൃത്തം ദ സ്പേസിംഗ് ബിറ്റ്വീൻ ദ ലൈൻസ് ആർ ഡിക്രീസിംഗ് വെൻ വി ആർ ഗോയിങ് ഫോർ ഹയർ ആൻഡ് ഹയർ വാല്യൂസ് ഓഫ് യം അതാണ് കാണിക്കുന്നത് അല്ലേ അപ്പൊ സ്പേസിംഗ് ഡിക്രീസ് ചെയ്ത് ഡിക്രീസ് ചെയ്ത് വരുന്നു അപ്പൊ നമുക്ക് ആദ്യത്തെ ലൈൻ കിട്ടിയത് ഇവിടെയാണ് ഇതാണ് നമ്മൾക്ക് ആദ്യം കിട്ടിയ ലൈൻ സി ദിസ് ഈസ് ദ ഫസ്റ്റ് ലൈൻ സോറി ദിസ് ഈസ് ദ ഫസ്റ്റ് ലൈൻ ദാറ്റ് വി ആർ ഗെറ്റിംഗ് ദിസ് ഈസ് ദ ഫസ്റ്റ് ലൈൻ ഓക്കെ and that corresponds to m is equal to 1 the second line verumbol namak itre agaram kaanathilla korachum kuda adutha irikkum varunne alle so the second line will be here adutha line verumbo korachum kuda adutha irikkum varunnathu ende vara selva athre adu correct varathilla namak 10 vare poganum undu appo egadesh ibada irikkum varunnathu okay ini adutha korachum kuda adutha irikkum varunnathu so let me draw it here അടുത്തത് കുറച്ചും കൂടെ അടുത്ത് വരും സോ വൺ ദിസ് ഈസ് ഇക്കൽ ടു എം ഇസ് ഇക്കൽ ടു വൺ ടു ത്രീ ഫോർ ഫൈവ് സിക്സ് സെവൻ എയ്റ്റ് നയൻ ടെൻ ഓക്കെ ഇങ്ങനെയാണ് പോകുന്നത് അങ്ങോട്ട് അങ്ങോട്ട് പോകുന്ന ദൂരം എന്ത് ചെയ്യും ഇവരുമുള്ള അകലം കുറഞ്ഞു കുറഞ്ഞു വരും ഇനി ടെൻ വരെ ചെന്ന് കഴിഞ്ഞാൽ എം ഇസ് ഇക്കൽ ടെൻ വന്ന് ചെന്ന് കഴിഞ്ഞാൽ നമുക്കൊരു പർട്ടിക്കുലർ വാല്യൂ കിട്ടുന്നു ഇനി ലെവനിലേക്ക് പോകുമ്പോൾ നോക്ക് ദാറ്റ് ഈസ് ഇക്കൽ ടു ന്യൂ ബാർ ന്യൂ ബാർ വി പ്രൈം വി ഡബിൾ പ്രൈം പ്ലസ് നയൻ പോയിന്റ് നയൻ പ്ലസ് നയൻ പോയിന്റ് നയൻ അല്ലേ ഇതാണ് ന്യൂ ബാർ വി ന്യൂ ബാർ വി പ്രൈം വി ഡബിൾ പ്രൈം പ്ലസ് നയൻ പോയിന്റ് നയൻ ഇത് ഏത് വാല്യൂ ആണ് ദിസ് വാല്യൂ ഈസ് ദ സെയിം വാല്യൂ വി ഗോട്ട് ഫോർ ഗോട്ട് ഹിയർ അല്ലേ എം ഇസ് ഇക്കൽ ടു നയൻ കൊടുത്തപ്പോഴും നമുക്ക് കിട്ടിയത് ന്യൂ ബാർ പ്ലസ് ന്യൂ ബാർ വി പ്രൈം വി ഡബിൾ പ്രൈം പ്ലസ് നയൻ പോയിന്റ് നയൻ ആയിരുന്നു അപ്പൊ നമ്മൾ പതിനൊന്നാമത്തെ ലൈൻ കൺസിഡർ ചെയ്യുമ്പോൾ അത് എന്തുമായിട്ട് കോയിൻസൈഡ് ചെയ്യും ആ ഒമ്പതാമത്തെ ലൈനുമായിട്ട് അത് കോയിൻസൈഡ് ചെയ്യും സോ വെൻ വി ആർ ഗിവിംഗ് ദ ദ വാല്യൂസ് ലൈക്ക് വാല്യൂസ് ലൈക്ക് വൺ ടു ത്രീ ഫോർ ഫൈവ് സിക്സ് സെവൻ എയ്റ്റ് നയൻ ടെൻ ദ ലെവൻ ദ ലൈൻ വിൽ കോയിൻസൈഡ് വിത്ത് the ninth line so this is 11th line and now you look at the 12th line 12th line in 12th line it is appearing at new bar v prime v double prime plus 9.6 le ibedeyan appear indathu new bar v prime v double prime plus 9.6 ibedeyan appear indathu pakshe ibede ide pole oru line nammal nerathe kandayana new bar v prime v double prime plus 9.6 ibedey kittiyadan le ibede namukku kittiyadu അത് എവിടെയാണ് എയ്ത്ത് ലൈൻ ആണ് സോ ദ ട്വൽത്ത് ലൈൻ ദ ലൈൻ കറസ്പോണ്ടിംഗ് ടു എം ഇസിക്കൽ ടു ട്വൽവ് വിൽ കോയിൻസൈഡ് വിത്ത് ദ ലൈൻ കറസ്പോണ്ടിംഗ് ടു എം ഇസിക്കൽ ടു എയ്റ്റ് അപ്പൊ നമ്പർ എയ്റ്റിന്റെ അടുത്തായിരിക്കും എന്ത് വരുന്നത് ട്വൽവ് വരുന്നത് സോ ദ ട്വൽവ് വിൽ കം ഹിയർ ട്വൽവ് വിൽ കം ഹിയർ ഹിയർ ഓക്കെ ഇൻ ദ പ്ലേസ് ഓഫ് എയ്റ്റ് ഇവിടെ ട്വൽവ് വരും ഇനി അടുത്ത ലൈൻ നമ്മൾ നോക്കുകയാണെന്നുണ്ടെങ്കിൽ ഇറ്റ് ഈസ് തേർട്ടീൻത്ത് ലൈൻ that is new bar v prime v double prime plus 9.1 9.1 alle ee 9.1 enna parayna aa line namukku evada kittirunnu 9.1 ibadey kittirunnu alle that is seventh line seventh line is also new bar v prime v double prime plus 9.1 here also 13th line is also new bar v double prime plus 9.1 so the seventh line and the 13th line will coincide okay അപ്പോൾ നമ്മളുടെ സത്യത്തിൽ ഈ പ്രോ ഇത് എങ്ങനെയാണ് പ്രോഗ്രസ് ചെയ്യുന്നത് സി ഇറ്റ് ഈസ് പ്രോഗ്രസിംഗ് ഫ്രം വൺ ടു ത്രീ ഫോർ ഫൈവ് സിക്സ് സെവൻ എയ്റ്റ് നയൻ ടെൻ ദെൻ ഇറ്റ് ഈസ് റിട്ടേണിംഗ് ഇറ്റ് ഈസ് റിട്ടേണിംഗ് ആദ്യം അതിൻ്റെ ഫ്രീക്വൻസി ഇൻക്രീസ് ചെയ്യാറുണ്ട് ദ ഫ്രീക്വൻസി വാസ് ഇൻക്രീസിങ് ബട്ട് വെൻ ദ ഫ്രീക്വൻസി വാസ് ഇൻക്രീസിങ് ദ ദ സെപ്പറേഷൻ ബിറ്റ്വീൻ ദ ലൈൻസ് വെയർ ഡിക്രീസിങ് ദ സെപ്പറേഷൻ ബിറ്റ്വീൻ ദ ലൈൻസ് ഡിക്രീസ് ഡിക്രീസ് ഡിക്രീസ്ഡ് and it reached a maximum frequency okay or it reached a maximum wave number and then the wave number started to decrease this maximum wave number is called the band hedge this is called the band hedge 
band head so this maximum wave number this is called the band head band head okay so the lines reach a maximum wave number and then return this maximum wave number is called the band head appo namakku idu ed branch aanu nammal parayanikkunnathu r branch aanu r branch alle appo r branch inde pratheegatha idanu inde r branch you will see the lines having the wave numbers greater than the band origin then the lines will as the m values are increasing the lines will the, the, the frequencies will decrease increase or wave numbers will increase but the lines will come closer and closer and then at a particular value the maximum wave number is obtained and then it starts to return okay that is the nature of the r branch of the spectrum r branch of the spectrum okay appo ningalku p branch ne pattiyum r branch ne pattiyum or id ketti niyamshichikya ini njan q branch ne patti visayirikkan povu q branch okay i know that this video is a bit lengthy but i am helpless ya engane churikanam ennu enikku ariyilla valare vishadamaakkan njan ee calculations ok upayogichu ningal test books il onnu inganeulla calculations onnu kaanulla pakshe ningalku ippo idu manasilai kaanum enganeyana ee test books il ee band head ne enganeyana vishadigirichirikkunnathu enganeyana return cheyyunnathu okke ningalku ibada kaanumbo manasilavu okay examination enganeulla calculations onnu kaanikkanda avashyamilla ningalku manasilagan vendiyana ee calculations ok ee demonstration vadi ibade explain cheythu kaanichathu okay now i am going for the q branch q branch of the spectrum so q branch of the spectrum the q branch of the spectrum q branch then delta j is equal to 0 that is the q branch it means that j prime is equal to j double prime so if we are writing the expression for the q branch nu bar q is equal to nu bar v prime v double prime plus b prime b prime j prime into j prime plus 1 minus b double prime j double prime j double prime plus 1 cm inverse okay that is our expression and here we know that j prime is equal to j double prime so let me rearrange this equation like nu bar v prime v double prime plus plus b prime instead of j prime let me write j double prime that is the rotation quantum number in the ground state okay into j double prime plus 1 minus b double prime j double prime into j double prime plus 1 cm inverse okay that is equal to nu bar v prime v double prime plus b prime b prime okay j double prime square j double prime square plus b prime j double prime minus b double prime j double prime square minus b double prime j double prime centimeter was that is equal to nu bar v prime v double prime plus b prime b prime this b prime b prime minus b double prime okay minus b double prime into j double prime plus now these two terms together j double prime square terms plus b prime minus b double prime into j double prime square okay so this is expression for the q branch and uh, here we have uh, j double prime and what are the possible values of j double prime so this is delta j is equal to 0 delta j is equal to 0 means j double prime to j double prime to j transitions j transitions is a key possible at all the 1 to 1 transition possible aanu 0 to 0 possible alla nammal nerthe paranju 0 to 0 transition should be excluded from the uh, selection rule okay so 1 to 1 2 to 2 3 to 3 4 to 4 etc are the transitions but lowest value eda 1 aanu 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 
4 etc are the values of j double prime so let me write here j double prime is equal to 1 2 3 etc okay so corresponding to this 1 2 3 values of j double prime we will get a series of lines and those series of lines will appear in the q branch but we will look at 1 2 3 values we will get a series of lines B prime minus B double prime. That is a negative value. B prime minus B double prime. This is a negative value. We will say that. B prime minus B double prime. B prime minus B double prime. B double prime is a negative value here also. B prime minus B double prime. Positive quantity. J prime double prime is positive. J double prime square is positive. So this negative quantity multiplied by a positive quantity. So that is a negative quantity. So this is a negative quantity. Le. B prime minus B double prime is a negative quantity. And that negative quantity is multiplied by a positive quantity. So this is a negative quantity. So So the negative quantities, it means that these quantities are subtracted from the band origin. Le. Band origin the frequency at Triano, other than them, e quantities are subtracted. You put to go on each So the appearing frequencies will be less than the frequency of the band origin, or appearing wave numbers will be less than the wave number of the band origin. Okay, other than we will get a series of lines in the lower wave number side, lower wave number side in the Maka series of lines. And P branch in the case of the Mulagan Diron, Mladi Perigancha P branch. We got a series of lines in the lower wave number side. But in the R branch, we got a series of lines in the higher wave number side. But in Q branch, we will again get a series of lines in the lower wave range, wave number range. And the Matramano, if it is J double prime square in there, value increase in Rikia. One, two, three, four, and the square on a point of values increase in Rikia. Abam, e line and spacing in the J prime and J double prime and the value could then the J double prime on J double prime and the value could then answer J. As the value J double prime increases, the spacing between the lines are also increasing because the J double prime square are going higher and higher values. Okay, so the spacing between uh, 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 the lines are increasing. So the spectrum will appear like this. Okay, so this is the spectrum. And the band origin is coming somewhere here. So this is the band origin. Band origin is represented by this dotted line. Band origin is the lines. No. J double prime is the lowest value. That is the band origin. Lines are the lines. Zero is the line. But it is zero. Zero is the band origin. Zero is the band origin. Band origin is the value. So the next possible value is obtained for j double prime is equal to 1. So that will appear in the lower wave number side. Okay. So that will appear here. That will appear here. And the next one will appear here. The spacing is increasing. Next one appear here. The spacing is increasing. increasing. Next one appear here. The spacing is increasing. So these are for j double prime is equal to j double prime is equal to 1. 2, 3, 4, etc. So we will get a series of lines in the lower wave number side, and that constitutes the Q branch of the spectrum. Q branch of the spectrum. When e delta j is equal to 0, m, delta j is equal to plus 1, m, delta j is equal to minus 1, m, allowed I to a very molecule. Even a corresponding at all lines from appear. Sigma, sigma 1 to sigma 1 transition are not the same. Delta J is equal to plus or minus 1 transitions. That is possible. That is possible. P M Q appear. P M R matter may appear. But delta J is sigma 1 to sigma 1 all the transition. That is the angle of one state. The electronic angular moment about the internuclear axis is non zero. That is the case. Okay. That is P branch appear. Q branch appear. R branch appear. So, how the spectrum will look like? The entire spectrum will look like this. What is the entire spectrum? If you look at the R branch, see, R branch appears at the higher wave number side. Pre branch appears at the lower wave number side. 
Chew branch also appears at lower wave number site. And this dotted line shows the band origin. Okay. Now, we will see the R branch is band head. Band head. We band head. Now, we will see the Motham spectrum in the brain. The LR series of lines in a will put in the Motham spectrum. The entire spectrum will consist of all the series of lines. I'm going to be entire spectrum on a eight tone third. I the Mughal Kodatrik in the LR series. E third. But you would have been a R branch in the R branch Motu Buddha the Bolivarium, third verum. E lower member number side lake, Arakabirum, P branchum, Q branchum. This uh, lower wave number side is overlap. Overlap is the same as the lines overlap. The lines are separate. That is the same as the two sides. All lines. Are. But if you are looking into the left side of the band origin, you will get, you will get the lines from both P branch and Q branch. And if you are looking at the lines at the right side of the band origin, you will see the lines from the R branch. And you will see the band head here also. So, this is how the entire spectrum will look like. Okay. This is the P, Q and R branches of the rotational fine structure of the electronic spectrum. If you have any doubt, please don't hesitate to ask me. And uh, thank you for watching and stay tuned.